the atmosphere today in the talks, because Netanyahu, we know, only did, did not only meet with Federica Mogherini, but with other foreign ministers. What was the, 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 the mood there between Netanyahu and the foreign ministers? Perhaps there was a, a better mood when he was meeting those coming from Eastern Europe than those coming from Western Europe. Well, that is definitely the case. It should be pointed out that this is the first uh, time that an Israeli prime minister has visited the commission in 22 years. So that in and of itself is a, a, a piece of news, and it's an attempt by both sides to maintain the dialogue going. But there is no question that the Eastern Europeans, uh, particularly uh, the Hungarians, the Czechs, uh, the Lithuanians, and then, uh, and then the Greeks who are in Southern Europe, uh, have a different point of view than the Western Europeans on, uh, on the issue of uh, Jerusalem and on the issue of a two-state solution. And this is one of the problems uh, that the European Union is not united. And I, and, and I believe that uh, for Prime Minister Netanyahu, he knows that. And he knows that, in fact, the European Union doesn't really have much to say when you come right down to it about the peace process in the Middle East. The one possible ex exception might be France. But even France is not really, has not been a major player. And uh, the United States States remains a major player, as even uh, President Macron acknowledged uh, yesterday at the LEC when he met with uh, Netanyahu.